Rumors at 5.30 tonight. It's the first day of summer, but kids in Providence will have one less place to cool off. And we've learned the pool at the Davy Lopes Center won't be opening anytime soon, if at all. Now, officials say the cost to maintain this pool and the dwindling number of kids who use it are forcing them to shut it down. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell has our top local story from the Providence Mobile Newsroom tonight. Community leaders tell me they're disappointed by the city's decision to permanently shut down the pool here. And they say the city needs to come up with something else for kids to do this summer. A padlocked fence surrounds an empty pool at the Davy Lopes Center in Providence. And Eyewitness News has learned this city-run pool will never open again. There's hundreds of kids uh, that's going to be counting on this pool to be open this summer. There's some good relationships being built here. There's some community here. There's a need for our pool. The community needs this pool to come to. Where will we go? The director of recreation services says the cost to run the pool and the dwindling number of swimmers prompted the city to close the pool. She says it would cost more than $40,000 to run the pool for the season. And she says only about 30 kids had used the pool each day. But people in the neighborhood say even if it is a small group, those kids still need something to do this summer. Without the pool and the supervision that's over here, they're left to uh, run around their streets. You know, I'm just hoping that we find some uh, option for them to keep them busy because, uh, you know, we're complaining about these kids getting into trouble out here. There's a lot of violence out of here. There are gangs. And, uh, you know, this, this is home to them. So you, you're just like closing their home. In 2009, a nine-year-old drowned in the city-run McGrain pool. City officials said that incident had nothing to do with the decision to close the Davy Lopes pool. City officials say they have discussed creating water spray parks. Those would cost less to maintain and insure. In Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.